Right, tell the Odair champs now how fast is the M1 Max's 32 core GPU? Can it actually match an RTX 3080? I'm going to show you some benchmarks that blew me away, and I'm actually going to put a score on this chart. Yes, I've worked out a way to do it, and you'll actually see how this marries up with what Apple said. So we're going to work out how fast this GPU is for real. Make sure you sub up because I will be getting the MacBook Pro 14 and 16 in, and I'm going to test it against the fastest PC so you get the right one. So you saw RTX 3090 in the title, well have a look at this and we're talking about an RTX 3090 paired with desktop components, so desktop GPU, desktop CPU, we're talking 16 cores, 8 cores, look they're just desktops and have a look at the live playback score, this is Fusion System Premier Pro benchmark, to me playback is the most important thing and it's beating an RTX 3090 for playback. Is that insane? Now, of course, this is down to the media engine, H.264, H.265, and the ProRes Accelerator. So that's what happens when you build dedicated hardware into your CPU. Would you ever believe a laptop could play back better than a desktop in Premiere Pro? Of all things, well, that just happened. Let's get into some benchmarks and what blew me away. I'm using a 27 inch iMac with a 10 core i9 that uses over 140 watts. So this is the maxed out 2020 27 inch iMac and it also has a 16 gigabyte 5700 XT and that uses like 150 watts or whatever it is. These are desktop parts okay i cannot stress this enough and these parts are good and they're fast but look at this cinebench score okay what you can see there is a score of 14,154 now what did apple say at the peak performance of the pc chip they deliver the same performance at 70 percent less power okay so listen to what the man says okay at the peak pc performance and they were comparing 11800 h which i have a chart here from october the 9th by the way and you can see there it says m1x and this is a prediction i made so this is before any benchmarks before the apple event and you can see there it says m1x because we didn't know the names of them then what did the guy just say he said at the peak performance of the pc chip they deliver the same performance at 70% less power. The M1s deliver the same performance as the peak performance of the PC chip with much less power. So he was comparing it to the 11800H if you go into the, you know, the footnotes. And what do you know? My prediction, 14,975, it's exactly the same as 11800H. And what did he say again? At the peak performance of the PC chip, they deliver the same performance at 70% less power. So I got that right. It was actually easy to predict that. But considering exactly what this guy said, same performance, much less power, that means it actually beats out this 10 core 145 watt i9 in an iMac and that just blew me away. But let's talk about the GPU. We want to know about that. Okay, the GPU has been tested and it's important that when you're testing these GPUs, it's really hard to test apples to apples. So what I mean by that, you want to be running the same operating system, you want to be running same software, etc. So if we have a look here, what we can see is these are all tested on Windows, and you can see up the top, they're RTX 3080s, the two up the top. So they're 165 watt RTX 3080s. And you can see fourth there, you have MacBook Pro 16 5600M. And it gets a score of 16,047. Now it's important to note, that was tested in Windows, same software, same everything. So these are 100% accurate. Obviously you can't test the M1 Mac with this software. You can't run Windows on it, well not natively anyway. So how do you compare the scores if you can't run on the same operating system using the same software? So let's check Apple's claims first. Apple were claiming that the M1 Max 32 core used 100 watts less power than 165 watt RTX 3080, okay? And this was in the GE76 Raider. They also claimed that it was faster than the Razer Blade 15 that used 100 watt RTX 3080. So basically, it's in between 100 watt RTX 3080 and 165 watt. Or RTX 3080. That's what they're claiming. Have a look at this. Wolf. Now I'll tell you how I got that score. Get back to it in a sec. If we have a look, apples to apples using the same software, the same API, we can see that the 64 gigabyte M1 Max gets a score of 68,870 using metal. That is 62% faster than the 5600M. 
right? So that's the key variable here. Apples to apples using the same software, the same operating system, we can see here it is 62% faster than the 5600M. We know how fast the 5600M is. Look at the fourth score there, 16,047. You add that 62%, okay? And you get the score of 25,996 which by the way, puts it exactly in the middle of a 100 watt RTX 3080 and a 165 watt RTX 3080, which is what Apple claimed here, okay? It marries up exactly. So that just blows me away. And it makes me think, Apple aren't talking crap. This is actually getting up there. If you work on that scaler, it can't be an accident that that's where it falls exactly what Apple says there. And if I add the percentage of how much faster it is using the 5600M in the MacBook Pro, the previous MacBook Pro 16. And by the way, this desktop, this desktop iMac, 27 inch desktop iMac gets 59,740. It's got a 16 gig 5700 XT. As you can see here, this is a desktop part, desktop. And the MacBook Pro is faster than this GPU in my iMac. That blew me away. So even if you don't believe this, but it scales right exactly what Apple was saying. Wow, just wow. I cannot wait to get these in. So again, look at this. 30,000 foot 165 watt 30 80s on the top. If you have a look at third last, we have the X1 Extreme G4 RTX 3080, which has 100 watt RTX 3080, 22,452. So scaling it up with that 62% faster, which is the difference between the 5600M and the M1 Max 32 core, 25,996. Again, marrying up with what Apple said. So I don't think that's a coincidence there. So anyway, can't wait to get these in. Catch you in the next one. Tally ho. I am thrilled to introduce M1 Max.